Hi, so your circuit's got a relay in it and you need to test it. There's different types of relays. There's four pin and five pin relays and they can look a little bit different but they all do roughly the same thing. Here's an example of a big square five pin relay. Here's a smaller rectangular five pin relay. And here's a small square four pin relay. Now let's look at how they work. Most commonly, relays will receive power at two terminals. In this case, you should have power at terminal 30. In the case of a five pin relay, terminal 30 to 87A is normally closed, which means at rest, you should have voltage also at terminal 87A, as long as you've got it at terminal 30. The relay is an electromagnet to close the switch between 30 and 87. For that, you need power to a winding. In this example, I use a push button to control the electromagnet in the relay. When I push the button, it provides a ground to the electromagnet in the relay, which should send voltage from pin 30 to pin 87. As you can see, it does. And that's the principle of a relay. A low current circuit controlling a higher current circuit. When you move the relay from the fuse box, all of them have the terminal numbers printed underneath beside the pins. So you should easily be able to tell which terminal inside the fuse box connects to which terminal on the relay. If you're lucky, the relay has a diagram printed on its casing, which will easily let you know which terminal is which, and it's a quick refresher on how relays work. The numbers are there, even though they're sometimes hard to read. <laughs>